on today's ProPresenter show, picking out a Windows machine to use with ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with Renewed Vision Software Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, in a previous episode, I showed you another lecture from my course coming up. Um, it's actually released it when I'm uh, delivering this episode called the Pro Presenter Hardware Course. So I thought that we would do the same, not to leave out uh, the Windows people among us, and talk about some of the things to consider when you're picking out a Windows machine for ProPresenter. You may recall that last time I said that if you wanted to buy a new computer for ProPresenter, your first stop needs to be renewedvision.com slash ProPresenter.php question mark page equals requirements. Again, there will be a link below uh, so that you can click on it, go there yourself. But let's look at this. Um, may run on Windows 7, so don't necessarily assume that if you have a Windows 7 machine that it, w it will work. Windows 8 Pro. So that's important, the Pro, because there's like 25 different flavors of Windows. Okay, I exaggerate, but still, there's more than just one. So Windows 8 Pro with Windows Media Center um, would be advisable. Or if you're buying new, which that's what I'm going to concentrate right now on, Windows 10. Now, remember, I'm recording this in 2017, so... There might be Windows 11, Windows 10 Plus, who knows what they call it, 10 XP, who knows. Uh, so there might be something like that in the future that I don't know about, but as of right now, Windows 10 is the way to go. Next, we need an Intel i5 or equivalent AMD processor or above, 8 gigs of RAM. I strongly encourage you to think of the 8 gigs as kind of a minimum. More would be better than uh, 8. Uh, always think future-proofing. Think, how long can I get this computer to last, not how little can I spend on this computer. Next question is the graphics card. This is probably the thing that I've heard most people have problems with. They'll say, well, I've got a brand new graphics card. It doesn't seem to work. And then you find out it's a Fire Pro or a Quadra card, both of which are not recommended. Intel HD graphics may work, but not recommended. So, if you already have the machines and you try them on and they work, good. I just wouldn't buy a new one like that. And then stage display, you need an additional output, either PCI or USB. So, um, we'll talk about USB adapters for stage display in a later uh, lesson. So, now that you know all that, where do we go? Let's just take a look at three common places that people check for PCs and see if we can't find something. I've already gone here to Monoprice, and uh, we need, remember, we need to get something that is Windows 10. Oh, well, there's Windows 10. Okay, that that's good. Um, Needs to have 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, also good. It's got that. Uh, i7 or greater, or i5 or greater, that's an i7. So that's good. So this HP Elite Book looks like it would be good. We would need to, let's see, AMD Radeon. Let's check over here, and I do believe AMD Radeon. So that one should work. And I've just picked that kind of out as random. Um, but keep in mind that this is um, a pretty high-end machine. We're uh, 
looking at something in the 1650 range and mono price is not a high end place so these are not cheap computers that we're looking at um by contrast let's look at the lowest price here and see if we can hit all the specs on these lower price machines okay getting past here okay so 3m privacy filter no let's see here it's probably going to be at least okay so you might be tempted by these little prices but you'll notice this is a chromebook it's not a windows machine so that's no good next let's see what we can find let's see um there we go windows 7 now this is a recertified so it may work according to renewed vision um an i5 with windows 10 pro four gigs of ram not good enough if you can upgrade the ram in this maybe you you could get it to work um, but let's also check the, and it's not saying what it has for a graphics card. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to look through all the specs on a subsequent page, but you could see how that's a bit of an issue. So let's continue to go on here. Intel HD graphics, they said may work. I'm going to pass. Um... Intel HD graphics may work. Pass. Let's see, Intel Celeron. Mm, that's not an i5 as far as I'm remembering, so I'm going to pass. Now, here's a desktop, the small form factor. i7, that's good. 8 gigs of RAM, that's good. Windows 7 may work. Eh, probably going to pass. So you, you see how churches would be tempted a lot of times to go with the lower price offering. See, this is an i3. That won't work. But you've got to get what will actually work. And also, it's not good stewardship to spend the least possible amount of money. It's good stewardship to spend the right amount of money. If you throw away $280 on a machine that you can't use or can just barely use and then Windows updates something and kills everything, that's $280 you could have spent on something that lasts longer. So just consider that. Let's continue on to Best Buy and let's look at computers here. A lot of people uh, like to shop at Best Buy. And I'm not recommending specific brands here, but perhaps you've had really good luck with Lenovo. Maybe you've had really good luck with Dell, etc. Just keep that in mind. So let's go, let's just look at desktops and all-in-ones. So let's head down here and uh, towers only just minimize this a bit okay so I said Lenovo as one option okay we've got an i5 that should work 8 gigs of memory that should work Windows 10 that should work NVIDIA GeForce again let's check the specs over here NVIDIA GeForce with a minimum one gig of integrated memory. Let's just see here. Two gigs. So this one very well might work. What you might also notice is this as a desktop has better specs for less money than an, an equivalent laptop. Something to keep in mind, and we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, here's a Dell i3. No go. 
um, six gigs of memory. That's an odd amount and less than eight. So that's a no go. So you see how we've got to kind of be careful as we pick through these things. Windows 10 who? Home, that works. AMD A8 series, I don't know off the top of my head if that's equivalent. So um, I could look that up, but I'm just going to keep scrolling and find that there's an i5 right here with 12 gigs of RAM. Um, and so far, so good. That seems like it's good. Windows 10, also good, but it doesn't say what it has in it. Doesn't say uh, for a graphics card what it has. So this may work. You'd have to investigate um, to find out for sure. So just something else for you to consider. Uh, one other place that we're going to check is Amazon. Uh, so we've got an Acer Aspire Intel i5. That works with an 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Uh, Windows 10 Home, that seems to work, but again, we don't know about the graphics card, so check on that. i3, no go. i3, no go. Let's see here. And that's in AMD, so I don't know off the top of my head, so I'm going to keep looking. HP i5 seems to be good. 8 gigs of memory, RAM, uh, Windows 10. I should say that I'm a big fan of solid-state drives, or um, even if it's not an actual drive, if it's uh, dedicated storage that is uh, solid-state, um, Apple calls it Flash. Either way, I'm a big fan of that. I think that it improves the performance remarkably. In fact, the computer that you're watching me record this on is a, a fairly old computer by laptop standards. It's a mid-2010, and this is 2017, so it's coming up on seven years. But it works perfectly fine because I put in an SSD. So that's another way to get a little bit more performance out for not a lot of money. But when you're spending $250, it actually kind of is a lot of money. So let's go here. I'm going to narrow this down to some of the specs that I have. I need at least an i5 Maybe I'm going to check i5 and i7 here. Uh, Windows 10, that's good. RAM, 8 gigs. So you see, I can use this um, stuff over here to just uh, kind of narrow it down. Dedicated graphics tends to be better. Okay, and one more thing, let's go for, do, 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 do. Uh, AMD Radeon, and Where is it? Aha. NVIDIA GeForce. So, now that gives us computers that should be what we're looking at. And you'll notice that um, our prices tend to be a little higher. And that's fine. I'd rather spend a little bit extra money and get something that will work rather than spending too little money and getting something that doesn't or that doesn't work for very long. So that's 
something for you to consider. Um, by the way, uh, most of the time uh, Mac Mini will work and they're in these same price ranges. So just something for you to consider as you're thinking, well, PCs are cheaper than Macs. Yes, but once you get rid of all the Windows 7 PCs that I don't know why they're still selling them since Windows 8, 8, 1, and 10 are all out now. Once you get rid of the Windows 7 PCs, once you get rid of the ones with an Intel Core 2, which my laptop, which is 7 years old, has, so that's a pretty old processor, and uh, the 4 gigs of RAM. Once you get rid of all these things that ProPresenter doesn't support, it's actually much closer in price between the two. So those are the things that I'd look at, and those are some places where you can uh, get them. I'm going to go ahead and right now I'm going to copy this link, and I'll include it so that you can go directly to this page and uh, save yourself some time when you're shopping. That is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more money. Just uh, helps me out just a hair. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there um, along with the other links so that you can have uh, the best choice of Windows computers if you want, the, want to go with the Windows computer that operates ProPresenter 6. Okay, I hope that was helpful. My heart in all this is to save you money, save you frustration, and keep you from looking around and going, uh-oh, we just spent this money and the machine doesn't work. Oh, no. So now you know some of the stuff that you should keep an eye out for. If you like this content and you're thinking, uh, yeah, I still have hardware questions, no problem. There's a course for you. It's the ProPresenter Hardware course. You can get all the information you'd like about it at tdm.fyi slash pro6hardware. That's tdm, short for Trinity Digital Media, dot fyi for your information, slash pro6hardware. Whether, uh, you know, you're definitely going to be watching this after the course is released, so that will just redirect to that course uh, information for you. If by any chance you want even more information about using ProPresenter, probably the best way to do it is to join my email newsletter, which is absolutely free, provides you more tips, tricks, links to tutorials, etc., and discounts to the products that I offer, the resources that I've built with you in mind. So in order to get that, go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. You know the video's over, right? I mean, you can stick around and hang with me here if you want. I mean, all I'm going to do is tell you to go ahead and subscribe and click on the little bell icon to get notifications so that you can be part of the contests that are coming up. So, I would do that if I were you.